Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how you can use the slab draping method uh, to create bowls and plates uh, with plaster molds. So this is a plaster mold of a bowl. Uh, basically plaster was poured inside of a bowl and then it creates this shape, whatever the interior is. The nice thing about plaster is it's really absorbent. So when you set the clay on top, like this one, the clay is uh, being dried on the plaster. And then when it's ready, when it is leather hard, it just pops right off because it doesn't stick to this uh, surface. So I'm gonna start with this one. I pre-rolled a slab here. The slab I rolled, it needs to be big enough to go over my mold, which I believe this one will be. So the next step is to take your sponge and really wet that surface. We want it to be really pliable so that it doesn't crack as we are bending it. So I'm gonna take, put my plaster mold down I'm gonna take my slab. I'm gonna carefully drape it over the top. Okay, so you have some choices here. This, if I just left it as is, would give me this really kind of flowy, loose bowl. But let's say you wanted to make it more specific. You wanted it to come down a little bit more um, uniform on each side. You can start either with your fingers. I like to start with my hands and I'm just pushing it down on the mold. If you have a mold that is really high and then goes low, so it has like a major curve, you might end up with some issues like I have here. This is just a fold. So all I'm gonna do is press with my fingers to smooth that clay together to just move down the rest of it. And this is something that once it's leather hard, I can do more cleaning up with it. Another tool that you can use for this is your rib tool. So that you can use to make sure that it is really nice and connected to the, uh, the form that's underneath. So as I'm kind of cleaning this up, I have another choice to make. If I want to, I could cut it right here and that would give me just a really clean line bowl. I could also leave some of this if I wanted to have more of a flat rim at the top. So that's kind of up to you. I guess for the sake of this video, I'm going to draw a shape and see what I think. So maybe I'll leave a little bit of a curvy edge it's something that when it's leather hard, you can always go back and do more cleaning up. If you like it, you can then cut it. If you don't like it, you can kind of erase it. I see a flat area here. I'm gonna go and make another curve. All right, so then all I'm simply doing is cutting out the rim the way I like it. And then I'm gonna set this aside and wait for it to get leather hard, okay? Here we go, putting it aside. Here's my magic. I have one that is leather hard. So this one has been sitting for a while. I put it in front of the fan. I know it's ready to come off because it lifts pretty easily. This is a plate instead of a bowl. So I'll show you what the other side looks like. Please know that if you'd like to, because the plates have less of a like foot than most traditional plates have, you could easily go roll a coil, slip and score this on and smooth it down in to create a more interesting form or a more elevated form. I'm gonna skip that part though. So I'm gonna take this off very carefully. And you see that on the inside, I have a plate. I have a little bit extra that I still need to cut off if I want it to come and end right at this edge, the natural lip that exists on my mold. So I'm gonna wait until it gets even a little bit harder to do that part, because it's still a little bit wet. But what I can do in the meantime is I can take my sponge, I can smooth it out. Notice I'm holding it underneath just to support it as I do. And anytime I wanna work on that back area, I'll put it back on the mold so that I can do more work. All right, when it comes time for me to cut those edges, I could either use a planer, right? And I could shave along, or I can take my knife tool and cut along as well. Those are the basics though, of using the draping mold, uh, draping plaster molds to create bowls and plates.